What's good, everybody? It's Summer the God Slayer. We're back in more Final Fantasy 14. We're about to head further into this Endwalker quest line. Time to talk to Nidhana. Answering our call, many towers have appeared around the world. Sisters with ours. <clears throat> Though Crowell herself is tied up in another investigation, Almond is an eminently capable substitute. Spare no effort to aid you. Seek to make talents that can nullify a third commissions. About being tempered. Testing, we are quite confident. Okay, so they've been working on this for a while. <coughs> Whatever it is, just leave it to me. Serve as an escort. To the tower's field of influence. Yeah, cause they did, they were all collapsed out in sleep. We'll be grateful for any assistance. Varshawn is that, 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 that kid's name, Varshawn. All right, so we head out. And up here, is that where we're going? Trouble finding this place or climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to the physical strain. I give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many a sleepless night. The drunken deeper. Create this device to test the talisman's efficiency. Upon activation, it will move a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of aether. 
those lacking sufficient infection will experience severe aether sickness. That should be enough to ascertain. Hell no, it actually fucking hops out on its own. Suffering ill effects. No irrepressible urge to empty the stomach. Confirmed. Resuming tests. Okay. Okay. Stomach and bowel <laughs> integrity holding. Zooming test. The busting of my appears to be keeping you safe from harm. Subject fortitude rated. Impressive. No irregularities, irregularities confirmed. Resuming tests. Please follow and brace for final discharge. So silly. I, I think his lamp was just popping around. Completely unscathed. If their exposure testing concluded, please collect and deliver me to the supervising optimist. Congratulations on containing your composure and your humors. Okay. The drunken deeper. I'm not on your knees. Promising sign, come. Let me take the deep off your hands. There you go. I shall replenish this aether for when we test the talisman. So no dizziness or nausea of anything of the sort. You feel perfectly fine? Of course I do. The strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There's no risk that the tower will corrupt your aether. With this, we can request your aid in the task ahead with easy hearts. 
they're going to, I bet you they're going to want me to escort somebody in so that if they happen to become corrupted, I can like subdue them and bring them back. That's what they want. Regards you with those eyes, you could drown in. <laughs> You are a capable warrior too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assist me with another errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special link, special ink. <clears throat> but it, we have exhumed our stores of a key ingredient for it, spirit weed. The, old, the herb grows not far from here, and I would like to go and harvest them. With the percentage, with the recent spat of kidnappings, however, we Arca Sadara, travel alone at our peril. Will you not come with me as my escort? I will compensate you for your troubles. You can count on me. I mean, you're dead. Grani. Yeah, I have a feeling that they, they just need me to be the bodyguard for when they test it on somebody who doesn't have, uh, you know, the blessing of light. I may be imagining it, but I feel as though we're being followed. Look out, Amen. Mm hmm. Nothing to it. The darkness provides. It really gave me a fright to think the moment I ventured outside the safety of the world. Through these pillars and up the rise. Jaya's footsteps. Jaya was a great dancer, and those who follow in her, well, you know, they come to this place to train and dedicate her da their dance to their ancestors. A happy benefit of this is that spirit we grows here in abundance. I will set up upon. I will set about harvesting at once. If you would be so good as to stand guard. Better safe than sorry. Ah, the dancers have a damn temple. They don't know. 
They got a damn temple. have their own goddamn temple. What? This motherfucker got their own temple. That is so dope. Shit, I want, I want the Dark, dark Knights to have their own temple. Hell. Cool as hell too. Shit. Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. What can you tell me of the satrap? Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzat Han. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasotra. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasotra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. It was a direct ancestor of the present satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people, but when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Radzad Han to thrive all these years. And it was the satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. Okay, so the satrap doesn't actually wield complete power over the people. <clears throat> he just mediates problems that, that affect the people as a whole. Okay. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. Oh. I come all this way to admire one of my splendid towers. And what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? Oh, something. Owing? Oh, another, another body, another, another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plans. And yet, 
I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat? With the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal. <laughs> Complications be damned. For we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. Oh God, what the hell fan Daniel got going on here? I have enough to last us a good while. Thank you for keeping watch. Let's go. That was a cool little place right there. That was a cool little place. They got their own little temple. Amen. My thanks again for your assistance. With your help, we're that little bit closer to completing our talisman. I accept it as a token of my gratitude. What, the experience? And only a thousand gil? I guess the experience is kind of dope, though. Let's keep going. I'll send you on another errand. I shall return to my work on the talisman. You're both back. Excellent. I have a message for you, Mistress Natana. It would seem the stores of Giant's Gall are running low. Let's look, there was still plenty. I suspect that it was before Uyan Jay was told about their tempering cure, and Estenian shared his knowledge of dragons. Your peers have since been aspiring to a fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. <clears throat> I see. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, then far be it for me to complain. But we need to replenish our stores. I should be happy to tend to this, if you like. Oh, my dear boy, I can't in good conscience send you out there alone while kidnappers are at large. I'm um, loath I am to press you and uh, press another task upon you so soon. Might you fetch the giant's goal? In case you're not familiar, that's the type of ore found on the island, owing to its hardness and ethereal conductivity. Many disciplines, alchemy, and at least of all, Corey, where it's found, aptly named Giant Skull Grounds, isn't far away, so it shouldn't take much of your time. Maybe impose upon you once more. Yeah, I got it. You know, I could be out there taking souls and drinking the souls of men and gathering more god-slaying powers, but no, no, I'm gonna go out here and fetch ore for you. Man named Zenua. I have an errand of my own that will take me to the outpost nearby. <laughs> Maybe you borrow a pair of Hamsa. By all means, do not be patient with them. But do try to be patient with them. Those that survived are still in training. Okay. Wait, where is he? Oh, okay, so he's not that far. Okay, he's he's just right outside. The creature looks familiar. 
is because they are close kin to your Eorzean dodos. Hamza have been long have long been kept as livestock in Thabnea and Thabnea. And many a hatchery may be found here. Raised by monsters from the tower. Oh God. Well, oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> I look ridiculous on this thing. Oh, that's just, that's just horrible. And here we are, manned by the Radiant Host. This, power, this outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. Kind of defenses you guys got out here against that i don't think y'all got too much against that we've seen what's inside of those dragoons boy them dragoon dragon knights well well who should it be but young varshan on errand for the set trap is that simply made me come collect your report to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging de dedication. We simply do our duty, but we are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for his boundless benevolence, his treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous. Though we have enjoyed relative peace and calm, this remains the front line of battle, no place for children. Your predecessor too often traveled alone. It's been what, two years now since you took over? I wonder how the, how the fellow is faring. Like those before him, he went on to represent the set trap in foreign lands. Wherever he may be now, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do of my own volition and gladly. I pray you do not think ill of his, his Excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith in the sad trap is unwavering. But still, I worry for you. We will be overcome with sadness if something were to befall you. For you are as a little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? I will, Nadine. Thank you. And who might this be? That Hanish by the look of him. Permit me to introduce Almon Relic of the Eorzean Contingent. Come to assist in the making of the talisman. 
for my orbs that you say. Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me, what is the situation like? May I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties could stand to learn something of value, I believe. An excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat, some of ours are understandably anxious. We would be glad of any tidings you can share. Bring Vosh, Vosh on the latest report and answer any questions he may have. Okay. Okay, let's start with uh, Imhudi. Let's start with Imhudi. Imhudi. Ah, I've heard about you, the visitor from Eorzea. Is there anything you can tell us about the Telephoroi? We know that they're the ones behind the tower and that they've declared war on the whole world. But why would they do this? What is it that they want? This we don't understand. Just death. They just want to die. Yeah, they just want to kill themselves and everybody with them. They want to die and take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, you can bet we won't let those bastards have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have, like our Eorzean and Far Eastern brothers. That's right, M. Hootie. Who is this? Kutiyu. Kutiyu. You wish to know about the tower? To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. This Tower of Zot, as folks have taken to call it, taken to call it, suddenly appeared where it did on the Isle of Naruner. We're safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far into the water and you expose yourself to its corrupting aether. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How are they dealing with the tower in your homeland? Should we destroy one? But that's about it. Our struggles are not unique, and our hopes still lie with the talismans. We must keep the monsters contained until they're ready. Yeah, y'all have no idea what's in that thing right there. Yo, there's some shit in that thing, yo. This little bit of puny, this, this puny little bit of soldiers, y'all gonna need way more than this over here, cuz, boy, y'all got some shit in that tower, I'm telling you. Nabdeen. It occurs to me I have yet to introduce our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. Our duty is to preserve peace in the land. Be it patrolling the streets or dealing with heretofore unknown threats such as now. We train hard and admit only capable warriors into our ranks. Even so, we've struggled to contend with the fiends on, from the tower. Though we succeeded in striking them down on the two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. Of what, what of the towers in Aorzea? Do they likewise spawn monsters? Hell yeah. So it's much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls of, for outside aid to be answered. Yeah, boy, we out here. Oh, he a paladin. That's a nice, that's a nice sword, though. I ain't gonna lie, that's a nice looking sword, bro. That's a nice looking sword you got there. Ain't as, ain't as, ain't as, ain't as cool as mine, though. I mean, you know, it ain't as cool as mine. You know, mine comes from the depths of hell, you know. Mine's come from the depths of darkness and death, you know. But, you know, your sword is still cool. Still cool. Finished speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it's enlightening. It was enlightening for you as well as for them. As a neutral nation and trading hub, both Razatan. 
ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Alas, the stream died up when trading vessels stopped coming. Amidst the dearth of information, everyone has been grateful for your account. See your original errand, as mine will keep me here a while, a while longer. However, I'm afraid I cannot guide you the rest of the way. Worry not, the path is straightforward. You need but follow the road east. Upon the Hamza, you will arrive before you know it. Brief though it was, I enjoyed our time together. Till we meet again. Hell no, the music here is like ridiculous. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh shit. It is out there. Giraffe looking. Okay, fine. Alright, this is indeed the Giant's Gulls uh, uh, grounds, and I am Zanuya. Is there something you require? And of course they shall have it. They labor tires with to deal with the tower, and tis the least we can do is provide them with the materials they need. Alright. We're gonna end it right here, and the next one, guys, we're gonna get these materials and send them on back. We're gonna see what we can do to help these people take care of this tower. I'm gonna let the God Slayer, we out. <laughs>